Why, hello, hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of if you're joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome. Thank you for taking the time to click on this very, 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 very long overdue Bath and Body Works Candle Day. I know, Candle Day review and haul. A little bit longer for a few reasons. Um, first and foremost, though, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I don't know if this video is going to be going up on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, or this may be going up right, right, right before semi-annual sale launches. Um, I wound up waiting a little bit longer to post this video for two so, reasons. Life's been a little bit busy. So, so many of you guys did candle day purchases. There's so many other candle reviewers out there that did full-on reviews on most of the scents that I wound up purchasing. My glasses on so I can see you guys a little bit better. And I hope you guys were having a wonderful holiday season. Can't believe Christmas is behind us already. New Year's already upon us. Um, if you're on Instagram, come find me. What I'm going to start doing, I did it this fall. I did it this holiday season with Goose Creek, with Kringle. I've done it with DW Home, Bath & Body Works. So much easier for me to get a big haul of candles and try them all at once and then do one giant haul. So until I graduate school and until things slow down a little bit more at home, I think that's how I'm going to be tackling all of these candle reviews. So that's why I always say, if you're on Instagram, just come find me. Now, you guys are probably wondering, What's going on with my wonderful, lovely hand here? I am okay. Everything is okay. We're good. Um, I'm going to sound like a broken record at this point, but I'm a one-woman army, you guys. I'm in school. Um, I care for a family member. I work from home. I freelance. Um, and I kind of just push myself a little bit too much sometimes, which is why I've stepped back from YouTube and why I leverage Instagram so much more. Apparently, uh, you can sleep wrong on your hand. Um, so the diagnosis is so much better than I originally thought. So I'm very thankful uh, that it wasn't TIAs. I wound up just falling asleep on it weird. I'm usually really good about sleeping on my back. Oh, I've been so tired and so exhausted this past month. I fell asleep on it wrong. And apparently there's this thing called a radial nerve, radial nerve palsy. So you guys, I'm having some hand issues here. So it's gotten so, so much better. Um, I went to the doctor. I don't, hopefully I won't have to do PT on it. So in addition to everything else, I've been a little bit slow going at just pretty much everything. So is that going to slow me down from doing my videos? Right now I'm only doing a couple of videos a month. Not going to slow me down much on Instagram. Well, I want to say if this is your first time clicking on my channel, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Um, I do have one more video that might be coming. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do an Instagram short or if I'm gonna wind up doing an actual video. I wound up purchasing a ton of soaps. <laughs> some of them are gifts. And then I did stock up on some wallflowers. And again, the reason I wanted to wait is because by the time this video is up, semi-annual sale will be starting in a couple days, if not the day of. So you guys might be getting an Instagram short, uh, or I'm sorry, a YouTube short video on those just because I know a lot of you stock up now. You stock up during semi-annual sale. Big question is, is I going to be doing a semi-annual sale haul, a purchase? Who knows? Um, I have seen some very interesting looking candles, returning candles floating around online. Their sweet shop collection typically comes back. I saw a lavender one floating around. Uh, I have a couple 10 off 30, 10 off 40 coupons. But um, you guys, I don't think those ones are going to be on sale. <laughs> I'm just going to say it right now. Um, I worked for the company before. Um, I, I think if anything, they may be on sale. But I don't think they're going to be 50% off. Nowadays, it's hard pressed to even find something 75% off. I think a lot of the holiday candles I'm going to be showing you guys today will probably be 50% off. Um, each season, the 75% off rack kind of dwindles. So we'll see. We'll see. It, it'd have to be something very special for me to hop on there and do it. Do I think it's going to be a giant haul? Tons of candles? Probably not, just because I don't have time to haul all of them. If I wind up finding some amazing gems, then yes, absolutely. They're all going to be online orders. So that's like I said, if you're just watching me for the first time, find me on Instagram. I'll plug my Instagram info um, down below and it's going to be in my description. You're going to get a lot quicker feedback on candles, 
soaps, wallflowers, anything like that, skincare, body care, stuff like that on Instagram versus waiting for me to hop on here and do a video. You're also gonna see me start doing a lot more shorts. It's just a little easier for me right now. All right, you guys, I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday season. I missed being in front of the camera. I missed you guys. Thank you for being patient, especially to my loyal subscribers. One other thing, if I'm having audio issues, I know it's been wonky the last couple months. I ordered a new device. Um, the device I wanted, the color was out, so they just canceled the order. I found out like two weeks later, so if the audio is wonky, I apologize. Oh, it's wonky, that is why I'm well aware of it. Hopefully it's not, so. All right, you guys, you clicked on this video to hear about some candles. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Thanks for taking the time to click on this very, very long overdue Bath & Body Works uh, candle day, candle haul. You guys saw my intro. This is going to be a rapid fire video. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on my hits, misses, and the candles that I'm going to keep, the ones I'd repurchase, all that good stuff. We're going to start off with the Bath & Body Works version candles. And then we do have some beautiful white barns over here. The uh, ones that I really seem to like the most were some of the white barn ones, you guys. Very, very interesting. So anyhow, I know this is a little bit late, but I hope this helps some of you guys as you are doing your SAS shopping. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. And we're going to be kicking it off with some of the Bath & Body Works candles. And honestly, this is undoubtedly one of the ones that I thought I'd love. Um, I almost got two of these peppermint sugar cookie. So I got this in the wallflower form. I loved it last year and in seasons past. I haven't even burned this one. Um, you know, I don't know, you guys. This one for me, I don't know if my preferences are changing or what. I know a lot of you really, really enjoy this scent. I don't hate it by any means, but it it's just too sweet. Um, I love a good peppermint. I honestly would prefer twisted peppermint. So I don't know. I know a lot of you guys love this version. This is one that's probably going to be going back. If you're catching my channel and watching my videos for the first time, if you're a bakery fan or gourmand, uh, a gourmand fan, you like cookies and peppermint and stuff, this is not a bad scent at all. Um, as far as throw, I can't speak to the throw because I just didn't care for the scent of this one. The wallflower, I did try of this one and... Um, I just, I just didn't care for the scent, you guys. The wallflower was kind of iffy. Uh, the throws kind of, it was there. It's kind of wafty. Um, but I have enjoyed this one in the past. So if you are someone who likes peppermint and you like vanilla and cookies and, and, and scents like that, you probably will like this one. I think my scents are just changing. Is this one I would repurchase again? We'll see. Um, but but I do think this one's going to be going back to the store. The scent notes, the scent notes include crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. I mean, just reading the notes, it sounds fantastic. It just isn't doing it for me this season, you guys. So that's why peppermint sugar cookie for me is a no-go this season. Body Works candles, undoubtedly one of my favorites. He's a classic. I get him year after you. Wish year. I would have grabbed another one of these. As you can see, Vanilla Balsam, he's been well loved. Don't mind the wonky burn. I think, I think there was a draft and one of them um, went out, but you guys, this one was great. Throw, one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. The throw on this one was like, a, I wanna say 7.5. It really is like an eight, maybe even 8.5, depending on the room you have it in. If you're a fan of Balsam, if you're a fan of piney type scents and maybe fresh balsam is too much for you. Um, the vanilla in this just mellows it out. It is one of my all time favorite, favorite, favorite classic fragrances from Bath & Body Works and this year's version did not disappoint. As you like, hopefully they'll still be in store for SAS. Um, this one's pretty popular so you might have a hard time finding it. Let me read you the scent. notes for vanilla balsam include balsam fir, which I absolutely get that frosted vanilla when they say frosted vanilla i don't get like a frosting or like a cupcakey vanilla it's just a semi-sweet vanilla but i do get that snow-capped pine needles i absolutely get that out of this fragrance beautiful 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 classic it's just a classic fragrance this is one i would definitely repurchase if i see this available at sas 100 percent a repurchase for me and that right there is vanilla balsam. Moving right along to our Bath and Body Works candles. These may surprise you a little bit. If you have followed me for a while, the Champagne Toast 
probably not going to surprise you. That's one I've always enjoyed. As you can see, though, both are unburned. But sweater weather is not one I will burn. Um, I know everybody, a lot of people enjoy it. So, you know, don't let the fact that I haven't burned this one deter you. Let me read you the notes for both of these. I wanted to have them together side by side just because I think the packaging of this collection is so, so darling. The thing I like about both of these, Sweater Weather and Champagne Toast, I think there's a couple more in this collection, is these aren't just Christmas. Um, sweater Weather is one you can burn all year long or all winter long, all season long. Same thing with Champagne Toast. Include bubbly champagne. Yes, 100%. I get bubbly champagne, bright, effervescent -y. Sparkling berries and sweet orange. So I'm not a huge orange fan. I do like citrus, but this is just enough. Um, I don't remember seeing sweet orange on champagne toast notes before. Uh, I'd have to look at my older videos. Sometimes they'll switch around the notes. Uh, we all know that candles have multiple top, mid, and base notes. So maybe they added sweet orange in here for some reason. But it's bright, fruity, sweet, without being overly fruity and sweet. This is just such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance for the new year. What I can tell you is on cold and just opening this up and reading the notes for you, I can already smell it. So is Champagne Toast a repurchase for me? Yes, it is every year. Um, and that's, you know, no exception this year. So I'll be burning this one in the new year. And that right there was Champagne Toast. Weather right here. Notes, fresh sage, juniper berry, eucalyptus, and woods. The more I think about it, maybe I gave this one a chance based on the notes because I like sage, I like eucalyptus, I like fresh woods, and I can contend with juniper if it's light. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if this is a return for me. I may give him a try. I know if I don't like it, I can probably exchange it or, or return it. I may it. give this one a try. I don't know. I'm still on the fence with it. Um, but sweater weather is one of those ones that's popular, tried and true. Is he a repurchase for me? I don't know because <laughs> I haven't burned him. I'm on the fence on whether or not I want to keep it. But if you guys do enjoy kind of those masculine scents that are a little more earthy, um, I do get a bit of sweetness from this. I think that's that juniper. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. You might have a hard time finding this one at SAS. But if you do and you enjoy those types of fragrances, grab it because it is quite popular. And that right there. This sweater weather pain toast in the new year and uh as you can see i have not burned this one it's too sweet for me you guys i don't know i don't i i think this is a no-go for me i think if you like champagne toast and if peach bellini is not too sweet for you if you like cucumber melon then you might like fresh sparkling snow so icy melon winter pine and fresh citrus. Now I like a good citrus. Um, not a huge melon fan, but I thought I might be able to get over it. That melon note is just a little too much for me. Um, I don't know. I was expecting something a little different. I was expecting maybe a little more pine, a little more rustic. He's just a little too sweet for me. So I'm pretty sure fresh sparkling snow is going to go back. Pretty popular. I'm not knocking it. It's just not my thing. So fresh sparkling snow is definitely not a repurchase for me. Certainly, certainly not least when I'm kicking myself for not just getting two of these. Why did I not just get two of these fall farmhouse? I needed to get another fall farmhouse and I needed to get a tree farm. That's what was in my four pack that got dropped. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this one like ad nauseum. Favorite fragrances. And I think this is one that's almost universal. It's warm. It's cozy. It's rustic. I feel like if you like fireside, if you like winter cabin, um, if you like anything that's kind of a little bit woodsy-ish, that's not over the top, you'd love this one. So glad I got this one. If you have not tried Fall Farmhouse, this came out a couple of years ago. It did so well. They brought it back the past couple of years. If you find this one, just grab it. Let's include spice pumpkin, forest, pine branch, and fresh fall air. And I am gonna have to refer to one of my other fall farmhouse candles. I don't ever remember seeing spice pumpkin in the note. Again, they could switch up the set notes on the bottom. I don't get pumpkin. It's just like a rustic, warm, cr not even crisp. It's just warm 
cozy and very, very comforting without being a perfumey type comforting scent. If I can get my hands on another fall farmhouse, I will absolutely do so. And again, that's from the Bath and Body Works line. Don't know if they've had fall farmhouse in the white barn lineup. They probably have. Uh, it's been out for a couple of years, but I just love the packaging. Beautiful, beautiful gold lid. I haven't burned it yet. Um, he's going to go in my no burns until I can maybe get my hands on another one. So definitely a repurchase for me in that right there was Fall Farmhouse. White Barn Candles. Now I'm not going to move this one because he's been burning the past couple hours, but right there we have the perfect Christmas. I'm going to throw the scent notes up on the screen just because I'm not going to move a hot burning candle. Um, but if I'm, if I'm going verbatim here, I'm pretty sure there's like pine and or fir needle, possibly a little bit of cinnamon. Name is, says it all. Um, I do have the wallflowers of the perfect Christmas. I believe there's a little bit of vanilla, maybe toasted marshmallow in this one as well. It's not overly sweet. It, it kind of, to me, is in the same family as vanilla balsam. Um, as you can see, it's burning. It's burned halfway through. I absolutely love this one. If you are a fan of those kind of pine slash fur blended with a little bit of a a little bit of a smoothness, you might enjoy this one. This came out a couple of years ago, maybe maybe even four years ago now when they started doing like the perfect spring, the perfect Christmas, the perfect summer. So this one comes back year after year and it's one of my favorites. Perfect Christmas is about 90% of my wallflowers this season, which oddly enough, I usually will do fresh balsam and twisted peppermint but I've been leaning more towards the perfect Christmas this holiday season. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Definitely a repurchase for me. And that right there is the perfect Christmas. Next one up, under the Christmas tree. You guys, this one is well loved. 100% a repurchase for me. Beautiful kind of detailed lid. Look at how gorgeous that is. Wrap around label. The throw on this one, you guys. So one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. This is like a, this one was coming in at like a solid eight and a half, maybe, maybe even nine. I just remembered I didn't mention the throw on Perfect Christmas. Not the strongest. He's not as strong as like Fresh Balsam or anything like that. I'd say he's about a seven. But you guys, Under the Christmas Tree is such a beautiful fragrance. These beautiful kind of, you know, fur, um, Christmas tree, balsam blends. And, and they add either vanilla or cinnamon and things like that, and they just turn out beautifully. So this is a repurchase for me. Let me read you the notes. Fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. So to me, the juniper, which again, as I said, I'm not a huge juniper fan. I think that that eggnog and maybe some of the other notes in there make it a little more tolerable. This is just a beautiful balance of everything. So Under the Christmas Tree is 100% a repurchase for me. If I find it at SAS, this is one I would buy and definitely one again, one that I will again purchase next season. Moving right along another White Barn one. And you guys, like I said, the White Barn ones are just, all, I feel like personally this season are all total winners in my book. Now this is Cinnamon and Clove Bud. We have a beautiful gold lid. Now, you might be wondering, Lauren, it's not burned. How can you tell if you like it so much? I actually have the wallflowers of this. Perfect. The wallflowers are amazing. Um, probably one of the stronger wallflowers that I've used. The wallflower 1 to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest. For a wallflower, it's like an 8 or a 9. And now that's a wallflower, not candle. Um, this one, again, what I like about this, this is not just a Christmas fragrance. Classic cinnamon cozy home fragrance. And I do like clove. I do like cinnamon. And to me, the balance between the two are, are perfect. Again, I haven't burned the candle, so I can't speak to that. But the scent itself, if I was able to snag another one of these, even in a single wick form, I 100% would. At the notes for cinnamon and clove buds, we have cinnamon leaf clove bud and ground nutmeg. Now, I don't really get tons of nutmeg. I really just get a beautiful blend of cinnamon and clove. Definitely used throughout the winter. It's just very warm, very, very inviting, and definitely a repurchase for me. One of my newfound favorites right here, 
Fireside. I had this one earlier this season in the Bath and Body Works packaging. Um, the packaging on that one was like a ceramic foil and it actually wound up like kind of catching fire on the side um, and melting. So I was very careful. And I burned a couple times. I love it so much. I'm savoring it. Of all of the holiday candles that I would rebuy for SAS, if I can find them, Fireside, along with Fall Farmhouse, and probably that cinnamon and clove buds are probably my top three. This is beautiful. I love this one. This is one that you could use all winter. Warm, cozy, and the throw is amazing. Throw one to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest, at least in the white barn version. This is coming in at like a solid eight and a half, maybe nine, depending on the room. Some of the most beautiful notes kind of blended together. We have smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. That's exactly what I get out of it. I don't know if this comes in a wallflower. I really, really wish it did. Um, I think it may have in seasons past. I remember smelling this one years ago when I worked for Bath and Body Works and I was like, ugh, how could people burn this one? But again, as I said, my I think my scent preferences may be changing. Um, this one's great. This is a really good fragrance. If you're looking for something cozy, relaxing, warm, uh, to me, I think the cedar and clove really balance it out. Definitely check this one out. Um, probably one of my, uh, dare I say, one of my, one of my top five or 10 fragrances for holiday. Um, it, it's up there, maybe top five. So he's definitely a repurchase. So that right there is the White Barn version of Fireside. White Barn version looks very similar to Fireside. I got this on a whim. I got this for my partner. I wanted to try it out at, uh, at their home to see. I thought it'd be a nice rustic scent. I was hoping it would maybe be similar-ish, but maybe more of a wintry version to a fall farmhouse. I did burn this one. As you can see, I probably burned maybe about 25% of it. Great throw on this one. I am still on the fence on whether he's a repurchase. I don't like it as much as Fireside. Um, the throw though, again, one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. This one's probably like a solid eight. It, it was quite strong. It was definitely noticeable. And the notes for Winter Cabin include winter air, black pepper, warm amber, and cedar. I'm starting to really enjoy fragrances that have like that cracked black pepper. I have like that cracked black pepper. Really beautiful scent. Um, I think the one thing that throws me off is that ozone-y fresh air note. I would maybe rebuy this one again. It's not bad at all by any means. I'm just not a huge, huge fan of fresh air type scents. I think it does a really good job of balancing out that warmth of that rustic cabin and then kind of adding in that air component. So if you like those type of scents, if you like Fireside, if you like Fall Farmhouse, if you like those rustic scents and you are a fan of like a, a little bit of a freshness, a little bit of a fresh air, you might wanna check this one out. It is very pretty. Um, I very well may wind up getting another one just because it is very unique on the throw. Again, like I said, not quite as strong as Fireside, but right up there. I wouldn't quite say I'm on the fence. I would probably buy another one next season, but at SAS, I would probably wind up skipping it. An online exclusive, but if you're a fan of Fireside and those type of scents, if you see it in store, you might want to check it out. And that right there was Winter Cabin. You guys, my battery is dying on my device, so we're going to have a quick little outro here. That is it for me today on my Bath & Body Works candle day finally um review and or first impressions i hope this helps you guys out as you're doing your semi-annual sale shopping like i said for me honestly the ones that i would 100 percent buy again if i saw them at sas would be fall farmhouse definitely fall farmhouse uh firesides right down there maybe winter cabin cinnamon and clove buds under the christmas tree is very very nice um i would definitely get the perfect christmas again next season and then of course we can't forget about vanilla balsam. Are you starting to burn spring already? I know there's that kind of, it looks like at least a sweet shop collection popping out. Let me know what you're burning. Before I sign off, I do want to remind you, as I said earlier, I'm on Instagram. That is going to be the quickest way to see my feedback on candles, home fragrance, products, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post my upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax, um, new products. I have some new products to be sharing. So stay tuned. Find me on Instagram. 
Will I be purchasing a semi or will I be posting a semi annual sale video? If you follow me earlier today, this afternoon, I actually went in store for a semi annual sale to a white barn. I tried. Um, I didn't have my coupon. There was a couple things, but I don't know. As I suspected, candles were they're like 50% off, you guys. They just they just weren't, you know. I'm waiting for 75% off. So if I wind up doing a purchase, yes, you'll get a video or you'll get a short. Am I gonna get anything? Only time will tell. All right, you guys, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.